I got new pom-pom background. Just a little dog hair there, that's fine. It looks like I have two little pom-pom antlers, doesn't it? I just realized this, now I just filmed this whole video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our main event. Battle of the Crush Store Beauty Products. That's my friends, it is time for another Battle of the Drugstore. Today we are battling out clear top coats for nail polish. I was really excited to do this one because honestly, I do all of my own manis and pedis at home. And I've been using the same top coat for three or four years. So I'm really curious to see if the one I've been using is really the best or if there's one out there that's better that I should be using. Really quick before we jump into our battle, let's talk about this week's giveaway for the month of June to celebrate the fact that I'm getting on back on a posting schedule, posting every Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So this week I'm giving away a goodie from Kate Spade. I picked up this adorable little pink wristlet to give away to you guys. It's a nice hot pink. It's perfect for summer. And because this video is about nail polish, I went ahead and picked up my four favorite colors from Essie to give away to you guys as well. So for this week's giveaway, if you want to win, just let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite nail polish shade. It can be a specific shade like brand and shade color or just what your favorite color is to wear overall. All the rules for the giveaway will be in the description box. Don't forget you need to comment in the first two hours that this video goes live. So make sure you have your notifications turned on. If you're on mobile, it'll look like this. If you're on your desktop, it looks like this. It's essentially just a little bell that'll notify you when a new video goes live so you don't miss any more of my giveaways. I'm doing them for the entire month. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this Battle of the Drugstore Top Coats Round 1. Our first top coat to enter the ring is the Essie Gel Setter Top Coat. This retails for somewhere between $9 to $10, and what it claims it's going to do is give a gel-like finish on top of any nail polish color. This formula has a sort of thicker consistency, not so thick that it's hard to work with, but thick enough that you feel like you're getting some good top coat out of it, and it dries super fast. I would say it was completely dry in less than 90 seconds. As far as wear, I found this polish to be amazing at wear. Not only did it help my nail polish to last really, really long, but it also held up its shine. So overall, I thought that this was a great top coat that gave really nice wear and a nice high shine that lasted. Our next contender into the ring is Sech Viet, which I don't know if I'm pronouncing right. This is the top coat that I've been using religiously for the past three or four years. The reason I originally started using it is because it's supposed to be a super fast drying top coat and I hate waiting for my nails to dry. This nail polish is going to cost you about $10, but what it claims it's going to do is penetrate all the way down to the nail bed, creating a really strong bond so you don't need to worry about any chipping or any peeling of your nail polish. On first application, this top coat is really nice. It's got a thick consistency, but dries in maybe 60 seconds. You get a nice hard nail polish top coat that's shiny in a quick amount of time. But what I noticed as I was watching this nail polish throughout the time I was testing it is it didn't really seem to hold its quality. It certainly wasn't awful awful. Like I said, I've been using this top coat for years and years, but I was actually surprised when I had to analyze it really close and really watch it that the quality of it just seemed to not really hold up as well as some of the other ones. Our third contender into the ring is the Paparazzi Clear Coat. I couldn't find anything about what this claims to be. It's just a good old fashion top coat and it's only going to cost you three dollars. This is a thicker consistency of a top coat but what I will say is that it is not fast drying. You want to wait at least a good five to ten minutes to let this really dry on the top of your nails. As far as how it held up throughout the wear of it, I actually was really pleasantly surprised for a three dollar top coat. This was one of the best looking ones. The first thing I noticed right off the bat is this thing holds its shine like whoa. I would say it was probably the shiniest of all of these after sort of day two or three and on top of that it did a really good job helping to prevent any chipping or peeling of the nail so if you can deal with that longer uh, dry time it's actually a really nice and super affordable top coat to get from the drugstore Next up, we have Revlon's Nail Enamel. This is going to cost you seven or eight dollars, and it claims that you are going to get a nice, smooth, and chip-resistant top coat to your nail polish. The consistency of this is a little bit on the thinner side, and you have sort of a medium dry time, maybe three to four minutes to get totally hard on top of your nail. As far as the wear throughout the week, I found that this top coat left something to be desired. I found that it cracked really easily, it peeled really easily. I don't think it gave really all that much protection to any of my nails, no matter what nail or what nail polish color I was putting it on 
top of. It just doesn't really do a lot for you. Our last contender into the ring is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry. You're gonna pay about four or five dollars for these. I have a bunch of these in the actual colors, not the the top coat and I love their range of colors but had never tried the clear one before. So essentially the Insta Dry, what they say it's going to do is give you brilliant shine with a nice strong wear. So let's take a look at how it did. It wasn't nearly as thick as a lot of the other nail polishes but it did have a nice fast dry. I would say it was dry in 90 seconds. One of the first things I noticed about this top coat was pretty much in the first day I felt like I lost all of my shine. As far as throughout the next few days it really just didn't hold up I felt like it didn't really give me all that much protection compared to all of the other top coats this one gave me the least amount of protection from splitting from smudging from cracking no matter what nail or polish I put this on top of not a winner for me as far as the top coat I like all the colors that come from that range but I will not be buying this top coat again all right guys that was all five of these polishes duking it out in the ring let's talk about winners for me there were two clear winners to this battle and that was the se gel setter and the paparazzi my beloved such feet that i've been using for four years has been outdone and i think i will be retiring it from my collection as far as pros and cons between these two the paparazzi is a lot more affordable you're going to get super high shine but you're going to have to wait quite a while for it to dry so dedicate a little bit of time to your at-home mani the se is a lot more expensive you're looking at two to three times more money but you are going to get a super super fast dry and the wear on this is just outstanding I would say it's wear was the best out of all of these if you're curious which top coat I'm going to be switching to it is going to be the jelly the jelly I'm just gonna mix it together it is going to be the SE gel setter so that does it for this battle of the drugstore as always let me know in the comments down below what else would you like to see me battle I've done tons of these the playlist of all that I've done will be linked in the down bar but I want to know what else do you want to see I'm trying to do one of these sort of every month so I'm trying to be really good about that so definitely let me know what you would like to see next if you're not already subscribed I would love if you subscribed and joined the family like I mentioned at the beginning of this video don't forget to turn your notifications on so you don't miss videos when they come out especially this month because I'm having a giveaway for every single video in June but I think that does it for this battle as always thank you so much for stopping by and watching if you enjoyed it don't forget to like it and share it I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day and I will see you all next Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I'm gonna have antlers. They might as well be pom-pom antlers, right? If we want to talk about that highlight, you want to talk about that? These are the light chaser highlight for face and eye. And they come in all of these colors and essentially it's like a highlight that has like a highlight undertone. So this one is opal with shades of jade. And then this one is amethyst with shades of geode. And the one that I'm wearing, I think was pearl with shades of gold, maybe? That's something, right? I'm like feeling super, super highlighty right now.